Congratulations. Thank you. Initial reactions, Coach, to the matchup? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I thought there's always some interest in math, right? I feel for some of the teams that, that didn't get in that I thought should have got in. Um, you know, at least we got a seed, at least we got a, you know, a bye to the, from the first round. I thought we could have been, you know, top five for sure, but, you know, it is what it is. Now we've got a great path. We know the opponents that we've got to potentially play, so it's a lot of exciting matchups. I'll be uh, just very excited to get started and, and get after it. What are some of the thoughts on that bracket your, your, your side? It's just not some really good teams, and but some teams like would be excited to play. You know, we got uh, Furman and UNC. I think it'll be a tough game, and you know the winner of that. We've played UNC before on a championship run one time before. We played Georgetown on a championship run before, and then uh, sorry, NC State or Charlotte. Um, you know, if they, if they beat Georgetown, it's all exciting games. You know, I'd love to play Charlotte again. Chris, how's the mindset now? You come off a really disappointing finish, although it was a great match. Yeah. But the mindset of the team right now, you just re reset now? Yeah, I think it's just kind of just staying on the positives, you know? As we we lost one game all season, September 2nd. It was months ago, right? And and we sort of played. We had five good chances last night to score. We played them the first time. We had much better of the game. And so it's kind of telling the guys, listen, we haven't lost. We lost on penalties, okay? It's, it could have gone either way. It was a game of inches. Once those inches start falling off here, once the, the goals start sort of regressing to the mean, I think we'll be totally fine. So we just got to keep doing what we're doing, believe in what we're doing. It's going to come our way. Yeah, you and obviously you both teams that are going to represent the Sun Belt. Do you, do you think that result yesterday swayed um, the committee on uh, where team for place? Uh, yeah, I think if you know if we had a if we had a one yesterday, I think you know, probably a little higher and, and they're probably a little lower. But I think that's probably about right. I think the first round bias hit the strats before the game that they'll get a first round bias. So um, that's what I thought. Thank you, thank you, thank you, coach. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Just uh, initial thoughts of uh, where you ended up. I mean, you know, we're we're excited. We didn't get the result we wanted last night, but it's always good to, to get a bye in the first round. Now we got a week of rest. So, you know, that was the main thing for us. Now with the with the whole week to, to think about our next opponent and watch all the games, it would be, be good for us. It's helpful to have that week off, too. It's sort of like this is a reset. Everything that you've gone through got you to this point, but it really doesn't matter now. It's now the, the championship. No, yeah, exactly. We, we played three games in the past eight days, so we, we do need that rest. But um, now it's time to just focus, and we talked about it last night. You know, the season starts now. That's when things get tough, and that's when that's how you see what, what teams do when, when things get hard. But, yeah. It didn't go like you wanted yesterday, but the coach pointed out, you guys have a loss since September. So the whole body of work is still pretty impressive. No, yeah, exactly. We're, we're a big team, and we, we can't be happy with the tie. So, But um, now we just got to get our heads up, and the most important part of the season starts now, like I said before. So just got to get ready for that. Not only do you have that week to prepare, but that game's at home. How, how advantageous is that to have you know, at least one game in this time? No, it's huge. I mean, our fans are, you know, a 12th player every game, and they and they help us. They've been helping us this whole season. We haven't lost at home. So that's just more motivation for us to to be ready for it. How excited are you about the opportunity to play in the NCAA I'm, I'm very excited. You know, it's my senior year, and it's only my second time being in NCAA. You know, and uh, in my old school, I played UNC in the second round. So if, if that if that happens again, that'll be fun to, to get some payback. You know? Thank you. And yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. What's your initial thoughts, Ryan, on another NCAA run you guys are ready to start? Well, the, the first thing I thought about was uh, 2020 when we uh, played UNC and Georgetown and then we went to, uh, went to win it all. So that was kind of the first thing that popped in my mind. Those two teams kind of stuck out. Um, but we obviously have to take it one game at a time. Uh, can't, look, can't look to Georgetown, can't look any further than the first game or so. How nice is it just to have that week off now, sort of reset after the, the end of the season? Oh, it's, it's definitely helpful because, I mean, you guys probably know we have some guys out with injuries, and it'll, it'll just help everybody get back, you know, get their fitness back, get back to healthy, you know, so we can, we can go to the first game with, with a healthy squad. And important also to have that home game. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a, it means a lot to us to be able to have a home game, especially in front of all the fans, because I mean, this community is amazing. And it's 
helped us so much. I mean, we saw we saw last year as a crowd when we played Stanford. Just these home games during these tournaments, like having the fans behind us and such, so, is so helpful. Yesterday didn't go like you wanted it, but as Coach said, you haven't lost in September. The whole body of work has still been pretty good, so you just completely put everything out of, out of play and say, let's point to the tournament, right? Yeah, yeah, everything, everything's in the past, you know, it's it's basically a new season going into the tournament, you know? Like every, every game's its own, its own entity, and we have to look at each team with respect, you know, and go into them, playing every game like it's our last game. Great, great job maintaining focus with them. <laughs> just, uh, what, what, what has he meant to, to, to this program, and, and just how fun is it to be, be in that locker room you know, with, with this group of guys? Yeah, no, this, this group of guys is awesome. I mean, we have so many different personalities, I mean, people from all over the place, different backgrounds, different countries. And, you know, you can see even with him smiling, looking at him right there, laughing. Like, <laughs> like there's, there's just so much joy and you know, so much love in the locker room, and it really helps us you know, fight for one another and want to you know, stick together throughout these hard games, especially yesterday, you know, we had, to, we had to grind out for 90 minutes, you know, and just being able to stick together and, you know, lean off of each other's support yeah, just means a lot to us. Yeah, you were carrying some hometown pride with that too, right? Yeah. You know, just the overall journey of your career from, from Midland to now, what has what is, what is that meant to do what you've done and accomplish what you have with this team? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's surreal, like, thinking, you know, back when I was little, I was going to Marshall games, and you know, I was a ball boy a few times for the games, but being able to you know, grow up here and knowing how much the soccer community has grown, you know, and being a part of that is just super special to me. And I feel like I have a special connection to everyone here, you know, this, this team, this university, you know, hopefully we can, we can give back to the community with, you know, wins and another national championship. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.